Hey guys, namaste, it's Kala, and I'm so glad you're here. Happy 2018, we made it, if you're watching this video. <laughs> so, um, welcome, as I move my camera around, not too close, let's see. So today, just wanted to send a short video out. I'm trying to do one as well on Wednesdays, as well as my Saturday weekly forecast, okay? is a challenge, so I think this is going to go out today, Friday. Um, so what Spirit has been leading me to is connecting with you more. And what's, so what's been on my mind is very much for this new year, um, how to make it different than last year. Now energetically it is going to be different, okay? so. You're not going to repeat, especially if certain bad things happened for you. Uh, it's not going to repeat, okay? It, it, it automatically is going to be fresh. In Buddhism, the, the one truth is that everything changes, okay? So that's actually good. Um, I think a lot of people hear that, and it's a little bit, like, scary. But if you look at the flip side of their things, when things are going really negatively, or if we have an illness, it's actually good everything changes, right? That is universal law, or law on this planet anyway. So, um, so things will change. But how can we, you know, I always talk about we're co-creators. Okay, so I get more comfortable. I'm going to move into what's called Seiza position. So I'm kneeling. So um, and one of the tools that I found that helps is to have like a word for the year. Okay, and so I just wanted to ask you, what's your word for this year? My word, I actually have two, and I know this sounds weird. One of them like slipped my mind. <laughs> now I believe things happen for a reason, so if one of them slipped my mind, I'm like, that's not the right one. So my word for this year is simplicity. Simplicity. And... Um, it was very, very clear. It came to me, and a brief background, and this is to, to stimulate you to think about your word. I believe I'm going to do two because I like like a yin and a yang because simplicity, but I wanted to have something else to play off of, if that makes sense. Um, so I only have the one right now, and it is simplicity. And what I found is that I personally um, try to do so many things at the same time. <laughs> Can you relate? You know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, I'm doing that, I'm doing that. And all the messages I've been getting this past year, in 2017, in the past year, was successful people initially focus. You do one thing, then when that works well for you, you can expand. And so I, I do tend to like, I'm over here, I'm over there. And so simplicity, I'm going to try to keep it simpler, cleaner, What's the easiest way to do this? Okay, so that's my word for this year. I'd love to know what yours is. And I will, like I said, there's, there's, I feel like there's something else with the simplicity that I want to balance it with, right? Because simplicity can almost then be not boring, but it might be simplicity and elegance. So I will come up with another word, which I'll share with you. Share in the comments what your word is. And I'm going to make a free video for you guys and what it's going to be over at In the Flow of Magic. Um, if you join my tribe, you'll have access to that, and the link will be below. Just a process to come up with your word. I'll lead us in a meditation, and then I think I'll also just have like a, a simple PDF, like just a pretty printout sheet where you can think about what are your themes from last year, from 2017, that were difficulties for you that you want to basically turn around. So I'll make a little PDF and a little video to guide you through that. So check that out, okay? That will be free over at intheflowofmagic.com. I'll put the link below and probably, yeah, it'll be in my membership community. So look for the something titled like, um, you know, the, my, my theme for the year. Okay, it'll have a title like that, and then you'll see the video and those resources there. Okay, so that'll be for folks who are in my tribe. And then um, if you're seeing this for the Friday, tomorrow, Saturday, I will have my weekly forecast. Okay, so namaste. Let's uh, take a breath together. Nice deep breath in. Feel your presence. You might even want to bring the hand to the heart center and then exhale. Bring up a soft smile. Back 
that smile in a lot of healing systems is said to relax all your organs, relax your mind. If you can bring a small smile, and it's like an inner smile, but you even just bring to your lips this smile. It shows your body, mind that you're content, that you're happy, and then everything relaxes. All right? Stay blessed. Bye-bye.